Antipsychotic medications are very useful and, and have um, helped many people with schizophrenia to live healthy and productive lives by uh, taking care of some of um, the, the symptoms, including delusions, hallucinations, disorganized thinking, disorganized behavior, and, um, and negative symptoms or lack of motivation um, that may come with schizophrenia. However, they, they don't come without side effects. And I'm gonna talk with you about um, four different uh, categories of side effects that, that seem to be very common. One is extra, what we call extrapyramidal uh, symptoms. And those are um, uh, motor uh, or movement side effects of, of these medications. Um, the older antipsychotics tend to have more of these side effects and they include feeling stiff um, in your muscles, having tremor in your, in your hands or in your body, um, feeling restless and unable to sit still, or having what we call tardive dyskinesia. And that occurs over time where you might have movements of your mouth or of your limbs um, that, uh, that are repetitive and um, uh, that, that appear after a period of treatment. So those are the extrapyramidal symptoms or EPS. Um, and they're more common with the older medications, but with the newer medications, um, the more common side effects tend to be uh, what we call the metabolic side effects or cardiometabolic side effects. Those include weight gain, an increased blood sugar or risk for diabetes, and an increased cholesterol. And these things, um, you know, initially we were really excited about all of the new antipsychotic medications. And then when we saw how, um, how people gained weight and, and um, got more heart disease, um, partly related to the medications, uh, we started to see that there was a big risk there. Because um, really uh, it's heart disease and, and, uh, um, and diabetes that uh, tend to be the things that um, lead to early mortality in people with schizophrenia. And so uh, that's the second category of side effects. Um, there's also anticholinergic side effects. Um, so those include dry mouth, um, uh, 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 feeling flushed or hot, um, having uh, constipation. Um, those, are, those are things that um, tend to happen with the anticholinergic side effects and different medications, both old and new, have more or less um, uh, anticholinergic side effects. And one last category that I'll mention is prolactin. Prolactin is a body hormone that you have. And um, for uh, some, some of our antipsychotic medications, in particular, uh, risperidone is probably the, the biggest culprit, increased prolactin production. And so what happens then is um, that uh, you, uh, women especially may uh, not have their periods. Uh, they may have uh, difficulty conceiving a, a child. And um, for uh, some people there's uh, breast enlargement and, and even lactation, both men and women. And so that can be a very disruptive side effect, obviously, um, and needs to be addressed. If you have side effects with, uh, with antipsychotic medications, um, definitely there's many choices of, of antipsychotic medication. And so you should speak with um, your doctor or psychiatrist about it because they can try different things to um, see what works best for you and causes the least burden of side effects uh, to you. Many people have no side effects at all from antipsychotic medications, thank goodness. And, um, um, and so uh, if you have schizophrenia um, and uh, you're thinking about taking medications, um, find a treatment provider you trust so you can uh, work on finding the right medication for you. Mm -hmm.